In this video, we're going to walk through the installation process for the Retrospect client software that you would put on each computer on your network that you would like to back up using Retrospect. Inside the Retrospect client folder, you'll find two items of importance. The first item is setup.exe, which is used for installing the actual software. If you are deploying the Retrospect client to many computers on the network, you may want to utilize a public key file. From the main Retrospect application under Configure Preferences, you have the ability to generate a public-private key. Once you generate a public key file, that key file goes into this folder. Then you can run the Retrospect client installation either remotely or manually on each machine on your network. If you are installing the Retrospect client on one computer or on just a handful of computers, you really do not need to worry about the public key file and those steps can be ignored. If you want to learn more about public private keys, please refer to the Retrospect user's guide. In this demonstration, we're just going to do a standard installation of the Retrospect client software. So if you go to setup.exe and open up the Retrospect client installer, Then click Next, accept the license agreement, and click Next. And then you need to enter the password that you're going to be using when you add this client to the main backup server. So this will be a password that is used by your backup administrator. Confirm the password, and then click Next. And then Next, and then Install to begin the installation process. You will then be asked whether you want to open up the Windows firewall for this copy of Retrospect client. In this case, we have to click Allow in order to open up port 497 for both TCP and UDP traffic. Now the installation will complete and you can click on Finish. To open the Retrospect Client software, you can go down to the menu bar and say Open Retrospect Client Preferences. And then you'll note that it says Ready for Retrospect Login. That means that this copy of the Retrospect Client has not been added to the backup server yet. Once it does get added to the backup server, it will indicate whether the client is ready or not. 